So it may have worked with cigarette smoking. Public safety advocates harnessed Hollywood influence in an attempt to shape public behavior and save lives. Well, now they're hoping to use the big screen to try to reduce gun deaths. This new tactic modeling gun safety. CNN's Josh Campbell reports. LAPD, drop the weapon! Gunfire. Danger. <laughs> High energy. It's another episode of the hit CBS show, SWAT. Hey, baby. But something in this scene is different. Can you tell? Your day get any better after I saw you? No, actually, it got worse, if you can believe it. But we did save a mother and a child, so it made it all worth it. How'd the rest of your day go? Did you spot it? Look again. Mother and a child, so it made it all worth it. Safe gun storage. On that same Sony picture set, SWAT showrunner Andrew Detman says, in the past, the officer may have just set his gun on the counter. But now... Gun safe opens, he puts the gun away. It's nice and safe before he heads back to talk to his wife. You know, it's a very routine part of his life. Come home at the end of the day, store your weapon so that it's safe now that he's got a toddler in the house. That's a game changer. The new approach is one of the successes of the show gun safety campaign launched by advocacy group Brady United, which is now partnering with studios across the country. After first meeting at a White House roundtable with actors and writers last year, their initiative calls for no guns on kids' shows, rethinking whether guns are needed in adult shows, and if they are, showing proper storage and handling. We lose eight kids a day, a uniquely American epidemic, to family fire. That's, to, that's because of firearms in the home that are not safely stored. While guns can be politically polarizing, this show believes encouraging the safe storage of firearms shouldn't be controversial at all. This is not part of that larger gun debate. You know, we have, our audience is very much on both sides of that issue. This to me, I hoped anyway, seemed like this is just a common sense issue, right? So it's safely, don't leave it out in the house. You know, if, and if we can, if they see their, ha their favorite characters doing it on a regular basis, maybe that influences them some way. Okay, settle, settle, here we go, quiet please. Inside another soundstage, we watch as the SWAT crew film scenes with star Shamar Moore. We've heard statistics that more people look up to their favorite actor than a lot of politicians. Well, What's look, that like? I'm not Taylor Swift, but she doesn't carry a gun, <laughs> as, far, as far as I know. <laughs> Moore told us he's a gun owner too. And with a young daughter both on and off screen, modeling safety is a badge he's willing to wear. Big badass Hondo, and I get out there and, uh, you know, I take down bad guys. But when I come home, I own a firearm, but it's, it's safe, it's protected. If I can use my platform to affect change or affect optimism or to get people to listen, that's an honor. I'm humbled by it. Along with safe storage, SWAT is also curbing the amount of gunfire on its show. The director had an automatic weapon in mind, but maybe we can pull that back and just have it be a few shots so that we don't have all this gratuitous gunfire with no consequence. Uh, we got to start normalizing this across the board. Gun violence victims like Christian Heine, who lost his mother in a 2005 shooting in California, praise the efforts of shows like SWAT. Now a chief policy officer for Brady United, he hopes this new campaign succeeds, like past partnerships with Hollywood to deglamorize smoking and promote safe driving. You never will see somebody get into a car on a film or on television and not put a seatbelt on. We have to be thinking the same way about gun violence to really create a movement in Hollywood where this becomes second nature. People are gonna watch me and listen to me and I know that by behavior, by how I present myself, somebody could follow suit. That, that's a huge responsibility. And so hopefully, this is a reminder to the adults, to the parents, to be extra cautious. Cut it, cut! Josh Campbell, CNN, Hollywood. All right, Josh, thank you.